everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this a really fun wiper card. I have made one of these before, it was about two years ago. I will link it up here. That was a 6x6 version and today I'm going to be showing you the 5x7 version. They're really fun to make. If you're not sure what a wiper card is, this is what it does. So it acts just like a wiper on your car and whatever it is that you've got on there will shoot up and it's brilliant it's really really fun so this is using a new stamp set that I've got which I'll show you in a moment it says there have a blast on your special day you've got mum there kind of you know open arms enjoy yourself <laughs> just think it's such a lovely stamp set he's there about to tuck into a bit of chocolate cake and there's a nice Sunday there as well and then I've got the happy birthday and the whole thing does stand up as well it will fold, like I said, down to a five by seven and then on the back you've got plenty of room to write your message. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so I've done a lot of the stuff. I'm using my Everblend markers. So rather than show you a high speed video, I'm gonna leave that out today because you would have seen it in other tutorials. So I will link them below. They're really nice. I've been enjoying using them a lot. So the sentiment on the back, which is this one here, wishing you a day of happiness is from this set. I use it tons now, it's, it's just so handy. So that's that one. Then to do that lovely happy birthday, which is the same one that I used for those border cards that I shared a couple of weeks ago. It's just so nice because you can have it separate or together. So it's this one here, it's the Bright Rose of Birthday Words and it's this one, which I just stuck together there and then run it through my die machine and you will get this here and we'll cut that down to size when we get to it. And then this is the lovely set. Let me just grab something to go on the back here so you can just see. These are the ones that I've really kind of used, those three, and obviously mum there. I'm saying mum because she is for this one and the Sunday next to her as well. But you've got really nice puns and it's just really good. And I believe, well, when I'm doing this recording, it's currently two ninety nine on Craft Stash. I hopefully it's still available by the time this goes out because it's a brilliant A four size stamp set. Okay, so for this card, you want two pieces of five by ten. I actually forgot to cut the main pieces, so I'm just cutting my two pieces here. Okay, and along the long side on both pieces, you want to score at one and a half and three. Okay, so again on this one, one and a half and three. And then you just want to fold one as a valley and one as a mountain. Okay, so you have like a Z fold. And again, like so. So I've got my valley and mountain. And then you'll just flip one around, turn it upside down, <laughs> and then it will go on the back like so. You just basically want to reverse them. So that's what you have. So that's our card base. It's really, really easy. Then to do your front mat and layer, you want two pieces of... Well, in my case, I've got the white and then for the back, I've got the red. These are both six and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then the layer on top is six and a half by four and a half. So there's my six and a half by four and a half in white. And that's what I stamped my sentiment on. So I've stuck those pieces both down because you didn't need to see me do that. And then I can stick them during the tutorial. So then you want four pieces for your side sections. OK, so you've got the white piece is one and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then the red piece is one by four and a half. Okay, so four pieces. Again, I've already gone and stuck the layer on because you didn't need to watch me do that. Now for the acetate piece, you don't have to have acetate. I am using acetate because I'm using that rocket. I think it looks really good and it does, you know, give the effect that it is kind of flying. If you're doing something completely different, because I'm aware that not everybody's going to do this design, you could do lots of flowers. So a whole big bouquet of flowers bursts out the top. And if you're doing that, you don't need to have acetate because you're not going to see anything. So I would just use a piece of cardstock. So I'm going to do the scoring with the piece of cardstock because it's going to be easier for you to see. But I will obviously be using acetate. And then these are all my pieces. I've already gone ahead, like I said, and coloured them. I think they're so fun. And I've kept with the same three kind of colours, yellow, blue and like orangey kind of colour. And I've kept that throughout and it worked really well because it worked perfect with the rocket on her dress, the Sunday then, and on his top as well. Okay, so it's, you know, if you are always kind of thinking, I don't know how to colour or what colours to do, just keep them quite simple. And then you can, you know, easily match your papers because all my papers are plain apart from this polka dot one. Okay, so for the mechanism, you want a piece that is three by four and a half. Along the three inch side, just pop a little, um, do a pencil mark just for the tutorial, but I just put a little kind of mark with my tool. You want to do one at one and a half. Okay, so there's a little pencil mark there. 
I'll do a little indent there as well. Okay, then you want to flip it over and then go that way and do another one and a half again and do the indent. Now if you do the indent you'll be able to see that on both sides. So I can see my indent here and I can see my pencil mark there but on this side I can see look there's my indent and there's my pencil mark. Just find the track that will join both of them up. So this track here I'm just linking that little notch and then it joins to this track here and just score. Okay and that's it. That's all you need to do and then fold and burnish and do it both ways because it would just make it a bit easier to use. Okay and that's it, that's all you need. Okay so with your mechanism you've got your triangle piece facing towards you, the, the shorter side at the top here you want to come down, I think I've done what, it's one and three quarters, okay, and do that on both sides and just draw a light pencil, okay, just something to give you a guide really, this will just help you. Then what you're going to do, so you've got one of your pieces here, okay, so you want to have it so that you've got a mountain and valley, okay, so you want to have it so that you've got this folded over like this, you're going to lie it down and basically you're going to stick this triangle piece within this second section, okay, and when you stick it down it should sit perfectly between these score lines, okay, and then when you stick it, you want to make sure that you just pop that pencil line just below so you can't see it, so it disappears. You can rub it out if you want to. Okay, but that's where you're going to stick the whole thing down. So I'm just going to take the backing off of my piece here. Okay, so I'm sticking mine down within that section there. Now the reason I've gone down that far is because that's how far I can go down with the rocket that I've got. So I'll explain to you in a second. So now when you fold that over, this will fold under, like so. Okay, you can see how it folds inside, and then once the back's on, this will pop up like that. And it's this space here that you've got to stick your stuff on, but you can't go crazy in terms of the height for it because now this piece is going to stick over here. So the opposite folded ends, we've got our folded end here, this opposite end is going to go here. Now, if you fold that in like this, if you fold that flat, you can yeah, you can just pick it up. When I stick my rocket down, let me just grab it here. Okay, so say he's there. Make sure that's lined up. You we'll stick this down first before we stick our little pop-up piece on so you know you're gonna get it in the right place. You can't have anything higher than that because this whole mechanism needs to be able to slide in this space. So you can go as high as this folded piece allows you but you can cover more of this. So if you see below my rocket, I've got all that acetate free. So if you are having something different, but you can't go, in my case, I couldn't go any higher than that. But I think that amount is a really nice size for, for pretty much everybody. You just might have a nice sentiment that pops up there. So yeah, it's it should, I, th I think I've done the right kind of amount really for, for anybody to use. Okay, so what you wanna do first of all is we're gonna stick this one down onto here. So. I'm just adding some glue. Okay. Oh, I've got all this everywhere. Look at all the static attached to me. And then ignore this piece for the minute. Just lie it all down flat. Okay. And you're just going to line this edge up here with the edge of that and just stick it down. So they should all sit perfectly over each other. And that'll be a good indication to make sure everything's lined up and straight. So right now you will have something that looks like that. Next. Fold that one. As soon as you fold that, that will naturally go because it just slides up. Okay. Fold that one down. Okay. Like that. And that will just go over the top. And it should all marry up perfectly. Okay. So next I'm going to stick my rocket down. Now you want to make sure, let me just check the orientation. Yeah. So I need mine to go there. So I'm going to just lift it up. So it faces me and I can just stick that because I'd already popped some tape along it, like so. So whatever I'm sticking, it's got a face down, okay? And then if you imagine, we're going to stick that in a second, but just to show you, when you pull it, it pops up, okay? So you're kind of working back to front. Now, ideally, yeah, that isn't the nicest looking, but as I always say, it's a handmade card, so I know I'm, yeah, these are be snapped up by my friends and they know I make them, so it's fine. Okay, so then if you fold that over, imagine in a minute we'll stick that down, 
but that's how it's going to pop up. But I would say if you haven't made it before and you haven't made your own measurements, which I have, I would now, before sticking that down, I would stick this down. I would then pop it up and then I would stick everything down. But I want you to be able to make sure that it's going to fit in there. Because the last thing I want you to do is go mad and decorate all this and then it's not going to go into its home. So I think, yeah, it would be best to do it that way for the minute. So what I would do is just lay down, say you are doing a flower, just put one flower underneath here that goes, you know, near to this fold here and then stick everything else down, open it up, pop it up and then start building the rest of your flowers because you know you can't go any higher than that flower, for example. Okay, so hopefully that's all made sense. Now I'm just going to add some glue onto this outer kind of panel here, this little one, like so. And then fold in that piece, fold it back, and then this whole piece here can just go right over and it will sit perfectly. And that way you'll know you've got everything lined up. Turn it back over and there we have it. So now my cards, you know, it's obviously a little bit flimsy so I can start sticking everything down. So make sure you've got it all in the right orientation. But that piece is gonna go over there. All these panels are gonna go on these. So two on there and two on the back. And then I'm gonna stick that down on there. And then it's just down to the decoration on the front. Okay, so this piece here, if you have got this, because I know some of you do, I just want to have mine so that it is total length will be six and three quarters because it will sit perfectly within this white piece here. My mat there, you can see it lines up with that and that's six and three quarters. So I need to kind of eyeball this a little bit, but it's going to be about there. And then I want to do, oh, oh, I know why that's not straight. Okay, let's try again. So I'm going to come down here then straighten that one off there we go easily saved and then I can do that same border on these ones and then this one needs to be six and three quarters There we go. It's a little bit bigger on that end, but she is going to go there anyway and cover it, so it doesn't really matter. And to go behind that, I'm going to back mine, so I just want to trim this piece down here. So I'm just going to grab my pencil, just get that cut. Okay, then I've got this little guy which I had just sat behind the end there so I left a little bit on him just so I could have him roughly there and then that sits perfectly within that section there so I'm going to stick this whole piece down then I've added some double sided tape to the back of my little sundae there so that's just going to go like so it's making me hungry actually and then we've got mum with her big open arms. I think, she, like I said, when I got this in my What Did I Get video, she's going to work. You're going to see her use because she's just going to work in so many um, cards. I mean, she'd look great for a welcome home a card because she's, got, like I said, she's like got her arms out as if to give you a big hug. And then she's going to go and make sure her arm doesn't overhang, like so. And then the last piece I have done, have a blast on your special day, which goes with the rocket. And I'm gonna have that just off there. There we go, I love it, I think it's so good. You can go ahead and cop and you can cover that as well if you want or have a, you know, a sentiment or something on there. But do check out this one, the six by six. It was a Christmas theme, but again, it'll give you a nice idea, but it just flows so well. It's got so much space in there. You can see how it all, it, it, it will always work because this piece here is pushing that every time you pull the sides here. So there you have it.
So I hope you've enjoyed today's wiper card tutorial. I hope you found it easy because they are pretty straightforward. I think once you've you know you've done a few, they are pretty standard to do and easy to adapt, easy to add, like I said, other things onto your pop-up element. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.